Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Tori. Today I'm here to give you guys my February TBR. So I'm gonna apologize in advance because I am still figuring out my ring light uh, and trying to figure out where to put it so that I can actually like wear glasses and it's not gonna So bear with me. First of all, let's talk about January a little bit. January was a lot. <laughs> my goal going into January was that I was going to kind of take a step back and try to have a quieter, less stressful month with reading, try to focus on my book a little bit more. And honestly, January ended up being kind of crazy. That's fine, <laughs> but I'm really trying to focus now on making February a little bit less nuts. So again, I say this and again, I'm looking at my TBR stack and just, I don't even know why I say this every month because we all know that it's just good intentions at this point, to be honest. And whatever. After February, I'm going to take a step back from Buddy Reads and just mood read for like two months because that's what I feel like I want to do is just mood read. Um, and so I'm really excited about all these buddy reads. Don't get me wrong. So those of you that are buddy reading with me, this is nothing against you. It's all me, I promise. Um, it's just one of those things where there's so many things that I really feel like mood reading, which is great, but I want to make sure that I'm giving my attention, my full attention to the buddy reads that I'm doing because I'm that type of person. First up, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, more or less. So this is a buddy read. Shogun is a buddy read that I'm doing with Library of Alexandria, Tall Guy Reads, Joanna. Um, I always forget everyone that's involved with this. Theo. We're doing kind of a third of it every month from January to March. So I will be finishing up the first part. Um, by the time this video comes out, hopefully I will have it pretty much done. And then I will be starting on the second middle section, which is I think book three and four, I believe. Um, whatever it is, that's what I'm reading. So I'll be finishing the second part of Shogun in February. Luckily, it's a little bit shorter than the first part. An update on Shogun so far, I'm not going to talk about it too much because we do have a uh, chat about it. Should be tomorrow night from whenever this video is coming out. I really am enjoying it so far. This is a really good book and there's some things in it that are, I'm like, your eyes lights. It's fine. <laughs> but overall, this is such a good book. It's written in third omniscient, which is something that I realized how long it has been since I've read anything in third omniscient and how different of an experience that is from the third person limited that we're so used to in a lot of modern fantasy. But I'm really enjoying it. And one of the things I love about it is that historical fiction fits so well as a sister genre to epic fantasy because so much of it is inspiring fantasy and it's honestly just kind of fun to see the themes and the, the tropes and the character types and the inspiration that come out of history and are put into the modern fantasy books that I'm reading. So really enjoying it so far. Really excited to have our first uh, hosted chat about Shogun. I think it is going to be on Alan's channel, so I will link that below. Um, but yeah, should be really fun. I'm really enjoying it so far. We're doing, there's three buddy reads that I'm planning on doing for February. The first one is Giles Christian's Lancelot, another historical fiction um, about Lancelot from the Tale of King Arthur. And from everything I've heard about this book, this is Lancelot told as he has never been told before. I'm not gonna lie, Arthurian legends, I'm kind of over it at this point. I know that everyone, there's a lot of people that are really into the Arthurian legends right now, and I'm really enjoying all of the discussions that I'm listening to about them. Um, but for me personally, I just feel like that's not the headspace I'm in right now. However, I have heard so many things about this book from so many people that I am 100% here for this. I'm very excited to give it a try and see a twist. I always love a twist on something familiar. One of my favorite books that I've read in the last few years is The Lost Boy by Christina Henry, and that was a dark, twisted retelling of Peter Pan. It's incredible. I'm buddy reading this with Read by Kyle. I will again link him down in the description below, um, and it should be a really fun read. Next up, a book that I purchased as a 
a Christmas gift for my dad as a buddy read. My dad really likes to read classics. He likes to read history. He likes to read philosophy, that kind of stuff. Fantasy really isn't his thing. He's not a big fan. So um, I was looking at Christmas time for a book that I could kind of overlap our two reading tastes and find something that we could buddy read together for the month of February since it's his birthday month. And the two kind of that I was leaning towards was either Shogun or Augustus by John Williams. I ended up going with Augustus for my dad's buddy read and I am so glad <laughs> that I did that because as I am reading Shogun, there's some things in there that I'm like, your eyes lights. just, yep. It would, it would have been very interesting. So very glad that I ended up on Augustus instead, because I honestly think not just for all of the content things in Shogun, but also this is a book that I think is going to be more in a historical period that he's really interested in. It's going to be more, it's going to be a lot shorter, easier to buddy read. I'm excited to read this. I know this was a big darling around booktube, uh, at least in my circles last year, and that everyone was talking about it, had a great time, loved it had so many things to say about John Williams's prose. So I'm very excited to read this. This is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but I'm here for it. And if, you know, people are giving it the stamp of approval that I trust their opinions, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to buddy reading with my dad and finding a little bit of a hopefully overlap um, of our reading tastes. The last buddy read that I have for the month of February is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I will be buddy reading this with uh, Patricia Meredith, Evie, and Kay, and I will link all of their channels down below. Go give them a follow. I believe that we are gonna be doing our chat on uh, Patricia's channel. Um, this kind of started because Evie and I kind of accidentally kind of fell into a buddy read of Wuthering Heights <laughs> uh, last year in December and November, and Kay ended up joining us, and we had an awesome chat about Wuthering Heights on Evie's channel. I will link that down below. It was a great chat. We had a great time. We came from very different perspectives on the book, and it was awesome. And we kind of, out of that discussion, we kind of talked about how we really wanted to maybe pick a classic every once in a while and have the three of us buddy read it. And then my friend Patricia Meredith on the side had mentioned that she really wanted to buddy read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with me. And I said, hey, why don't we combine these two things? It'll be a great time. So I actually didn't realize how short of a book this was until I bought it. I'm really excited to, to read this, to have a chat with these ladies, because all of us, I think, really enjoy digging into these classics and, and kind of searching th through the themes and the characters. I honestly am going into it pretty blind. I obviously know the gist of what the story is about. I'm not familiar with Robert Louis Stevenson's written work at this point in my life. Of course, I grew up on things like uh, Muppets Treasure Island, but I don't think that counts. So in all honesty, other than Shogun, like these three buddy reads are not that intimidating. They're not gonna be long reads. I kind of like the idea of having slightly shorter buddy reads just because it's easier for everyone to stay together, it's easier to fit it into the schedule and all of the things. Um, however, that being said, I have absolutely loved having people to buddy read Shogun with, so there is something to be said about, you know, those really intimidating books that you're having a hard time getting through or, like, are nervous to start and having a group of people that you can talk about it with. Next up is the things that I want to read just on my own time. And like I said before, I really want to just mood read. To be honest, I'm at the point right now where I'm kind of tired of having like specific things that I need to read. Um, and I'm super excited for the buddy reads. And after those are done, I really want to spend some time mood reading to kind of give myself a reset. The book that got kind of pushed off to the side for January um, that I would really like to read in February is Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. I've been wanting to restart my read of the Malazan Book of the Fallen since about July or August last year. I, again, have only read up to Midnight Tides, and that was uh, the first three books I think I read 10 years ago. So I really want to reread um, the first four books and then continue on with the series this year, but I'm not involved in any of the read-alongs just because this is a series that I really want to take at my own pace. I really want to completely cut all the strings for me to just be able to experience the series again and freshly for the new books in a way that um, 
is very just me. This is a series that meant a lot to me when I read it the first time, and I want to really focus on re-engaging with that. So Gardens of the Moon is the only non-buddy read book that I really, really would like to get to in February. That being said, I will probably, hopefully, get to a couple of other books in February. I have a long list of amazing self-pub fantasy that I've been really itching to get to, and there's a couple of those that will probably end up meandering onto my nightstand this month, and I'm really looking forward to that. But overall, I'm trying really hard uh, to finish up my, my buddy reads this month and then move into mood reading, probably for most of March and April is my, my theory. Because um, Shogun is, I think, the only thing I have going in March. If somebody in the comments uh, is like, hey, wait, <laughs> please let me know, because sometimes I forget. So yeah, that, that'll give me some time to, to really mood read, to really get through a lot of the books on my self-pub shelf that I've been uh, kind of pining for. <laughs> I'm really excited about this month. I think it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to having some kind of off-the-beaten-path buddy reads. Because none of these, I, I keep, you know, I'm a fantasy reader first and foremost, but I love that I'm getting pulled into some of these other genres and other styles um, with, within the buddy reads because it's really expanding my horizons of, of the books that I enjoy reading and getting a chance to see other people's favorites too, so I've really enjoyed that. That's that. I would love to know down in the comments uh, what books you are excited to read in February, what your plans are, and yeah. I hope you guys are all having five-star reads. I hope you're having a great week. I said that backwards, and I will see you in the next video.